Welcome. You're watching Old Westbury Television's Power Hour here at SUNY Old Westbury College in New York. Today we're going to be speaking about the Ray Rice incident that occurred in September and where he allegedly struck his then fiance and dragged her out of an elevator. It was later confirmed that following spring that he had actually struck her as video surfaced by TMZ Sports of him striking his fiance twice at the time. <laughs> Today, we are joined by Christina Ronaldo, Jeremy Valle, I'm Daryl Bianamay, I'm Vincent Figueroa, and today we're going to be getting perspectives from all four uh, media majors here, and we're going to start things off, ladies first, of course, with Christina. So, Christina, from a lady's perspective, how do you feel about this incident? Well, I think it takes two to tango. You know, I don't, I don't think that she was an angel in the situation. Um, they said that, you know, she, uh, she also striked him and she also spit on him. Um, I think, you know, obviously the NFL doesn't want to get rid of Ray Rice because, I mean, they spend so much money on, on training him and getting him to be a professional football player. Um, and I also think that, you know, suspending, at, well, you know, uh, dropping him from the Ravens um, and, you know, now he's jobless is actually punishing his wife and his child. Because now, you know, she decided to marry him. Everything was fine after that. They were fine. And now this arises, and now everything's not fine. So um, from my point of view, like I said, I think it, it definitely takes two to tango, and I think that they're actually punishing his, his wife by, by dropping him. Right, understandable. And then, Jeremy, what, what is your take on it, just from a, a man's perspective, of, is there a lot more backlash on him just because of the double standard in this country and uh, you can't put your hands on a lady? Uh, certainly, certainly, because... Um, there's other situations, not just what, ha what has happened lately, that it's a double standard in that women hit a man is not that big of a deal, but if a man hits a woman, it is a big deal. I can see where it is a big deal and why it's not. And it, look, look, recently, the U.S. soccer team's goalkeeper, Hope Solo, she was also, she had hit her own boyfriend, a former football player, and is still playing for the national team and getting ready for the World Cup while Ray Rice has no job and he is not, you know, he has no employment. Right, and so basically it's almost in a sense not fair that, of course, a gentleman is being more penalized than in a domestic situation than a lady is. And the reason why I say gentleman is because it takes someone to own up onto their mistakes. And in Ray Rice's situation, he did his conviction in where he was suspended for his two games and he paid his fine to the NFL. But the NFL claims after the video surfaced by TMZ Sports came about, they claimed that they did not know about the incident of him actually striking his wife. But the police later reported that both TMZ and the police department had evidence of the video and so did the NFL. So apparently there's been some conspiracy that the NFL has been trying to cover this incident up. Now the biggest issue also once again is that Ray Rice served his conviction at his time but now he's being even more penalized for something he already served the consequence for. So, Vincent, yes. just from a media perspective, how, are the, how is the media responding to the instances of domestic violence with a gentleman and a woman, per se? I think the media is responding very cooperating, corresponding to the situation. A, like A, it, including that the media is going against the privacy of a male and a female, they still have a right to tell the people that that you shouldn't be doing this in real life because if you walk up to somebody and punches, the other person will punch back and feel that you're going against their rights of not being that normal as a tribally one-on-one -on -one. according to, uh, according to Google.com, but tribally one-on-one -on -one, during relationships, you have to be nice to the woman. You have to give her what she wants. You just can't, like, you just can't be mad at her for something that she did. You have to like cooperate and and I think Ray Rice and Peterson, Peterson is a father. He had no right of hitting his child. And I know how my parents went back through that through, through their years, but, but now as a parent, he should realize that his kid might be him in the near future. Right. And it's interesting that you say, uh, be nice to a woman, because if anyone knows something about women, definitely Vincent. But with that being said, um, one of the bigger issues also about this is that this is a private matter. Now, she was then, yes. at the time, his fiancée. 
She married him. She married she him married afterwards. Married. And more importantly, was fine. she did not press any charges. No. So no, the absolutely. fact that she did not press any charges and also coincided with the fact that she then married him later on mm -hmm. is her consent of what took place at the time. Now, yep. once again, in no instance in this country is it all right for either a man to strike a lady or a lady to strike a man. But in this specific situation, in this personal matter, she consented to what happened after those events unfolded. So one thing we need to pay attention to is that this was a private matter. Now, we as American citizens, we are often disgusted by this, but with this US soccer player, we noticed she has not been suspended. Not at all. So with her lack of suspension, do you think it's also a double standard for ladies in media when it comes to how they're portrayed? Because in media, you have uh, uh, field reporters, you have actors, actresses, and also athletes. They're projected in a certain limelight and have a different expectation. So, I mean, uh, Christina, just from a lady's perspective, how does that relate? Um, I absolutely think that there's um, a double standard. I think that, I don't think anybody should, should hit anybody or touch anybody. And I, but I think it's more acceptable for a woman to hit a man than a man to hit a woman because women have you know, socially been perceived as being weaker. So they can't enforce as much damage as a man can. But I have a whole solution to this whole Ray Rice situation. Oh, okay. I say that we let him play and we put in his contract that all his money goes to his wife. And we'll all be happy. Oh, why not charity? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, they're going to need to live. But all right, so charity sounds good. Well, why not but charity? Play? You know, charity. Yeah, all right. for domestic violence, because it's a big, it's a big um, issue in the whole United States. It's not just we're just seeing that they're like the, the heads of what is covered up pretty much in the U.S. A lot of wives, girlfriends, fiancés, they don't say nothing. Like they keep quiet to themselves, and because they're scared, you know, it's different situations, and because of it. You know, the NFL, TMZ, they all, you know, they hit it. That's the truth. That's why they hit it, because they knew it was going to be a bigger situation than what it already was. I, I just think, at the end of the day, that, it, yes, I, he's a public figure because he's a, you know, he's a raven. I mean, he's not the president. You know, he's a football player. Mm -hmm. And he, they both made a mistake. I don't really think it's anybody's business. Right. It's as simple as that. Vinny, right. uh, yes. just so also, once again, from a, a media perspective, do you think... Ray Rice has a chance to actually try to rebuild his image after this incident. Because one of the biggest issues, aside from what happened in the situation, is now how does he bounce back? Because Josh Gordon, for example, a uh, wide receiver from the uh, Cleveland Browns, he was processed for um, a marijuana charge. And long story short, he actually has a job now as a used auto car salesman. And until his suspension is over, and he's going to be able to go back to the NFL and do what he has to do. So he actually has a job as used car salesman. Now, once again, it's something is not, of course, wide receiver NFL money. So how would Ray Rice now bounce back, at least from a media perspective, from this incident? Ray Rice will definitely bounce back. Well, well, first of all, he's a human being. And like, first of all, he's a human being. And humans make, make their own mistakes. Mm -hmm. So he can learn from his mistakes. And I do feel that Ray Rice could probably go to a therapy to like get his anger out of the way, maybe go to anger management classes to calm down his anger. But for me, the perspective, I think he will bounce back. He will take whatever he has to take. Either if he's still with his fiance, let him be with his fiance. If he really loves her, she loves him, and that's all it matters. But he will definitely come back. But I don't think, but I don't think the Ravens want to take a person like that. But I think, but I think, but I think another NFL team would probably take it because they probably will need a running back like in the future. Right. Well, look, if they, if they can take uh, Michael Vick back. That's what I was going yeah. right. to Well, yeah. in closing remarks, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have today for Power Hour. And I just want to leave one piece of, piece of key information about this incident. Ray Rice got drafted by the NFL, but his, fia his girlfriend at the time, who later became his fiance and now wife, decided to transfer to Townsend University to go to school closer to where Ray Rice was drafted to in Baltimore. And what an even bigger interesting piece of information is Ray Rice actually paid and put his girlfriend, later on to become fiance, through school. Something to think about. So it's something to think about. After yeah. this incident, we're just looking at the present and the past situation, but these two obviously have a past history with each other, so we need to take into consideration this may not be as big of a deal 
for us as we believe it is for them. So once again, in closing remarks, thank you for everyone that contributed today. We appreciate your feedback. Wow. And always wow. stay tuned to Old Westbury Television. You can follow us on Instagram at Old Westbury TV. Also like us on Facebook. Thank you.